honestly believe that the fourth commandment regarding Sabbath observance is just as binding today as it ever was. I've talked with men who have said that it has been abrogated, but they have never been able to point to any place in the Bible where God repealed it. When Christ was on earth, he did nothing to set it aside. He freed it from the traces under which the scribes and Pharisees had put it and gave it its true place. The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. It is just as practicable and necessary for men today as it ever was. In fact, more than ever, because we live in such an intense age. The Sabbath was binding in Eden, and it has been in force ever since. The fourth commandment begins with the word remember, showing that the Sabbath had already existed when God wrote the law on the tables of stone at Mount Sinai. How can men claim that this one commandment has been done away with when they admit that the other nine are still binding? I do honestly believe that. However, the words that I have just spoken are not my words, but rather the words of the famous evangelist, Dwight L. Moody. How can men claim that this one commandment has been done away with when they admit that the other nine are still binding? Earnestly contending for the faith, once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. About 20 years ago, I found out that many of the things I'd been taught in church for most of my life were not based on what the Bible teaches, but rather on traditions that were gradually developed over the past 2,000 years. Doctrine based on the traditions of men that the Bible actually warns us about. Time is the ally of deceit. Travel through time with Richard Reeves by way of a revealing study series that unravels the master plan to usurp the authority of the Creator. What did the first century Christians actually believe? What was the role of the emperors who ruled the world? The emperor was actually a pagan priest, a priest of Baal. Elijah had confronted and killed the priest of Baal, and now once again in New Testament times we find a priest of Baal ruling the Roman Empire. For centuries and millennia, the age-old deception intensifies as confusion takes its hold on mankind. We have an adversary who cares not whether we call paganism Christianity or if we reject Christ altogether. Anything but the worship of our Creator in spirit and in truth. Time is the ally of deceit. Now available in the WorldNet Daily Superstore. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going.